doesn't matter how you did business online last year. Blog. Interruption marketing is dead. Interactive. The blog has become my fastest way to test. Last year's history. Blog Interactive 360, presented by RBM Success Group. Hi, I'm Cynthia Tiano from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I'm an attorney by trade, and we're here at the... Internet Marketing Main Event 2, Baltimore. Main Event 2. And um, we just wanted, I just wanted to say that when I was listening to John Paul and Deb's presentation, even though and our team, I'm not the one who really has a lot of technical knowledge. I knew when I was listening to that, that I was hearing something extremely important and something that was on the razor cutting edge of what is next in the internet marketing world. And I literally got goosebumps about 10 minutes into the presentation. And my goosebumps are always my ticket to take action. So at that point in time, right then and there, I made the decision to sign up for their coaching program and we are very excited and looking forward to all that we can learn. And I'm Howard Tiano. I'm a musician and a web marketer and when I saw how they were able to interweave all the new technologies, the RSS, the vlogging, the, the uh, video, audio podcasting, wikis, what, you know, and how it all works together. Uh, I was excited because in my niche uh, as a musician, uh, that's the cutting edge and that's the kind of uh, content delivery that's going to lead us all into the, into the new Web 2.0 and the participatory uh, things that's going to make a difference in keeping the visitors and keeping your, your customers happy and, and giving them content in the way they're going to consume it in the future. And they make it fun. Blog Interactive 360, presented by RBM Success. Hi, this is Howard Chiano, coming to you from Baltimore, Maryland. We're at the Internet Marketing Main Event 2, and here I've got JP and Deb just Meyer. finishing their presentation on new media and the internet and anyway, I just had to grab them outside here and get some video on it so I can share this all with you. So uh, hi guys, uh, that was a great presentation in there and I just want to cover some points so I can share them with everybody. Uh, first why don't you uh, maybe tell us, uh, we'll jump right in, <clears throat> what's the difference between the Web 1.0 or Web 2.0 as it's being uh, touted as the new buzzword. So why don't you talk a little bit about that and sort of tell us about what the differences is in the new media and how the web is changing. I'll let you take that. Well, <laughs> one of the first the uh, differences is that, Howard, in, in Web 1.0 we had the main focus being on coercion, if you could say that. It's interruption. It's basically a move of mass media interruption style advertising techniques that were brought online. There wasn't really any difference in the style of marketing that was being done. The interaction with the consumer was still the same as it was being done offline with, with mass media. Now with web marketing 2.0 you have interactive and participatory media that's being used. Podcasts, blogs, uh, social networks, uh, vlogging, all these different tools that allow not only a viral spread of, of connection and, and content, but also participation. So now the focus is on, instead of interrupting and manipulating, it's on persuading and interacting with. Right. Well, when you, when you say participation, you mean like uh, just commenting on blogs? That's part of it. And, and if you think about it just logically, what do people want to do? They want to participate back and forth. They want to have a conversation. They don't want to just be marketed at. You know, things coming at them, whether it's spam, whether it's a commercial. You know, now we watch TV and we flip forward in TiVo. You know, we don't watch the commercials. So now you have to think very creatively, well, how do you get permission from people and market to them on a permission basis? And that's the new media mindset. That's where we're moving into more of tribal marketing versus herd-like marketing. And people don't want, they don't mind, they don't want to be marketed to, right. but they don't mind being marketed with. with. And that's, that's, that's a major distinction as right. well. And you can't really do that, at least not efficiently, with a static website or right. with old style web marketing. Well, does this mean the death of the sales letter or is there <clears throat> interactive elements that we can use to engage the visitor to uh, persuade them more. Yeah, and, and one thing you want to think about with web marketing 1.0 versus 2.0, it's an upgrade. 
So you don't necessarily kill the, the initial program, right? If you think of software, you still have the original version, but you just get an upgrade. So that's what we look at Web Marketing 2.0. Is some things will be used, but it'll be used differently or on a different platform. So now you might still have the sales letter, but you might first initially con um, talk to people and per persuade them through your blog. So there's a conversation, they talk back and forth, they might comment, you comment back with them. There's that relationship first, and then you have permission to send them to your sales letter. So the sales letter doesn't necessarily die, but it doesn't get in your face right away. And it may be, it, there may be situations, depending on your niche and how, uh, how advanced you want to get, I'll, <laughs> just to keep things simple. I'm just uh, going to get technical. You, you can use multimedia right. and there's right. testing that we're doing with uh, replacing sales letters with, with media using uh, different information education styles of learning that people have. So we come at things from a psychological standpoint right. uh, focused on influence and persuasion, not so much technology. Right. So that, does, that means I don't have to revamp my whole uh, system uh, and website and well the website may have to yeah. be revamped yeah. okay <laughs> but you don't have to trash everything it's just right. like a software program if you upgrade from Adobe 6.0 to 7.0 right. you don't trash Adobe it just gets rid of bugs and improves right. the performance of the system right. and fine tunes things it's, it's a little bit more intense than that but it's that simple of an upgrade right. it's it's a mindset shift it's mainly a shift in your software and upgrade in your software as a business owner and as a marketer right. as to how you're going to treat and view the customer. And that's, no, that's, that's a good point because what you're just talking about now is you're upgrading your mind. So now we're not even just talking about upgrading the technology right. and the software, but your mind, the business owner's mind, because think about it. Why do we resist change? What happens? It's because this is how we've always done it. Well, this is how I've always done it, so this is well, how I'll continue to do it because people are afraid that if they stop and they do something different and then everything's going to fall apart. Well, typically that doesn't happen. Everybody who does things differently, they improve upon it, especially if it's something that's been tested in the marketplace. So the new media, blogging, podcasting, this is something that is absolutely on the bleeding edge, but it's still been tested. And the neat thing about it is now it's so easy to get listed and get people subscribing to it because there's not that much competition yet today you know whenever this broadcast in a year from now well maybe it'll be a little bit different but right now today it's a great opportunity for people so that's why we there got is it. one other key if you were to take away anything Howard mm -hmm. from from right. web marketing 1.0 versus web marketing 2.0 is that in, in web marketing 1.0 again you're, you're dealing with a mass media mindset you're dealing with interruption marketing and as Seth Godin has said he was the first one to, to really mm -hmm. identify it and, and pronounce interruption marketing dead yeah. uh, it's it's permission marketing right. and we've actually taken that and, and expanded that to it's not just permission it's participation right. and that's what new media is about but what what happened is the mindset of marketers and advertisers and the mass media to the consumer or of the consumer was that they're a herd, mm -hmm. an unthinking herd, like a herd of cow. And, okay. and if you that, think about it, who wants to be a herd? You know, do you want to be a herd? You want to be thought about as a herd? Do you want to be marketed to as a herd? I think this is where people got started getting turned off, and that's why the revolution started taking place online, because people started getting turned off by things that don't treat them like people. You know, we get insulted, so I that's, that's why, why the revolution is, is happening. And in the third section of the book, we talk about what in, in new media marketing in web marketing 2.0, the focus in it, the viewpoint that marketers and business people should have of the consumer right. is tribal. They're a tribe. And and the third the third section of our new book, Secrets of Online Persuasion. Well, hold Persuasion. it up. Let's get a shot of it. Yeah. All right, it's More called ideas. Secrets of Online Persuasion. Hitting the bookstores in November of 06. November of 06. And uh, why don't you back up a, just a bit and tell me, uh, Maybe you can define what interruption marketing is. Well, interruption would be... Maybe... It doesn't matter how you did business online last year. Blog! Interruption marketing is dead. Interactive. The blog has become my fastest way to test. Last year's history. Blog Interactive 360. Presented by RBM Success Group.